I'm talking about the Mackenzie month-long on Maui, uh, starting July 15th this year. Uh, there's not, like I said, there's not much reason to do it. Uh, if you're satisfied with your life, if you're doing what you want to do, definitely don't look at it. Um, if you uh, know that life could be better, then you're living it. Um, one of the participants that came a few years ago came to a preview and then did a self-actualization. When I asked her where her life was on a scale from 1 to 10, she said it should be a 9 or a 10. She said, but it's a 6. She said, I've done everything right. I've done everything. I've set everything up. Everything is going on the way it should go, but I can't see how to make it a 9 or a 10. Uh, she came and did a self-actualization, which is a prerequisite for the month long. Then she came to the month long. Then she had me for coffee after the month long to tell me that she created no value from the month long, which I told her that I told everybody up front that they wouldn't. And it took her a while. She now says that any conversation about not creating value has dinosaur shit on it, which is one of my terms, um, and that we can move on to another conversation. But it took her a while to realize what she'd gotten out of it. And because... When transformation happens, a lot of times you think that you've always been that person. Uh, one of the things that we did in our last month long, the Dalai Lama was coming to Maui, and we were invited to the Dharma Center to uh, assist getting the Dharma Center ready. And So that became part of my month-long project because it was fun for me to go there in the mornings and work with Poe and other people. And a lot happened. I mean, a lot happened. We... Uh, at one point, there was a gal, Marie, from the U.K., and we had pulled a telephone pole out of a place that they just wanted it out of there. It was that not aesthetically pleasing. When we pulled it out, Lama said, oh, I want it over here, about 30 feet from there. So, like, so we had to paint it so we could put flags on it and a sword on top to cut away ignorance. And so I walked over to Marie, who was sitting in the blazing sun of Maui, sweating like crazy, painting this pole. And the pole was, I don't know, 30, 40 feet long. And I sat down next to her and she said, Mick, I'm in absolute bliss. She said, everything's okay. There's a perfection that exists here that is so cool. I don't remember the last time I experienced it, but just, I don't, is it painting the pole? Is it Maui? Is it the Dharma Center? And one of these, it's one of the things that happens. It's part of the experience of the month long. As you go to these places that you know exist and you can't find them on your own, so we allow you enough space in an exotic retreat, an exotic... Uh, area doing something that you wouldn't normally do. I mean, uh, Marie wouldn't usually find herself painting a pole that was horizontal, uh, sitting in the hot Maui sun. Just not something that was in her reality until she decided to change her life and and uh, do something really, really radical. Which again was coming to the Maui month long. Um, there's jungles. There's stuff, Buddhas. There's or llamas. There's all kinds of things there, and again, we do it because two of our babies were born there. We have a real cool attachment to Maui, and it will get you out of your head as soon as you step off the airplane. www.micpeakperformance.com